Yo, what's poppin' peeps? The week is 236, T-Money up in the easy. Here to do a review for you guys for body bags. I do apologize for the ghetto lighting, the ghetto video altogether, but I am in the car on the way to my brother's house. I don't have a lot of time, so I had to do this right here, right now, get it done for you guys. So, um, let's get right up in this motherfucker, shall we? Happy Friday, everybody. Um, the TV show episode I'm about to review for you guys for uh, tonight's episode of Body Bags is another one from my personal little mini, you can call this my mini series, uh, where I review Tales from the Crypt episodes because it's my favorite show of all time. Uh, the phone is dangling on the charger, so if you get that, yeah, that's uh, the bobblehead, that's just the phone on the charger. Don't mind that. Don't let it distract you. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I've been doing these... Uh, episodes lately because I love the show and if I would just want to get it out there if you guys haven't seen Tales from the Crypt 2018 now uh, the year you've got to fucking check it out it's probably my favorite TV show of all time definitely my favorite horror TV show of all time so anyway uh, this is my favorite season or um, yeah season 2 is my favorite so uh, and probably my top 3 episodes now I've showed you I did Television Terror and Three's a Crowd those are two of my ultimate ones. This is probably right in there in the top three. It is um, one known as Dead Right from 1990. It's actually the first one to air on season two. And you've got the cast there. It's uh, Jeffrey Tambor and Demi Moore. Demi Moore actually starred in this one. You can see the picture of the two of them there. The odd couple. Um, so this episode's basically about Demi Moore's character. She goes to see a, um, a gypsy basically foretell the future for her uh the gypsy tells her you're gonna fall in love you're gonna meet this man and uh blah 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 yeah i don't want to spoil anything the man of your dreams basically you're going to be taken care of so she's very excited but the gypsy fails to tell her a lot about the actual person she's going to marry whether she's going to be physically attracted to him or not in this case definitely not and the outcome um I don't want to spoil it, but it is amazing, the dynamic between Demi Moore and Jeffrey Tambor. Uh, Jeffrey Tambor plays this grotesque, ugly, mutant-like bar... What do you call it? Uh, somebody who hangs out at a bar rat? No, there's a better word for that. But uh, somebody that hangs out at a bar, just a loser, like a middle-life loser. Anyway, um, oh, and I failed to tell you guys. So the gypsy tells... Uh, Demi Moore that she's going to inherit a lot of money if she basically she's going to get married and inherit a lot of money so she says so she thinks okay so she meets this guy who's really grotesque and she's like well I have to stick this out because the gypsy said I was going to meet the man of my dreams or not the, I was going to meet this man that's going to become very rich so what does she think she thinks she's going to inherit a lot of money from this man come to find out there's an amazing plot twist she does get the money but it's not exactly how you'd think it would go down and then yeah, it's just an amazing tale of just desserts. Uh, basically, a greedy woman getting what um, getting what she deserves, basically, for being a greedy bitch, pretty much, um, for lack of a better description. Um, but just, the, like I said, the dynamic between the characters and the story, Jeffrey Tambor is great as this gross guy, uh, this possessive, gentle but possessive. He's, he's great because he plays like this gentle, easygoing character who just, you know, loves this woman um, to death, we'll say, but but he's got this evil side, which you which you will see uh, from watching the episode. So, uh, I'm going to give this one probably like a four out of five in terms of how much I enjoy it. The story's great. The acting's great. Uh, the end result is great. The, like the final scene, like the, the twist. Um is amazing. I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's called Dead Right. It's number one on disc one, episode one on season two. Uh, like I said, it was the first episode to air, I think, on television from season two. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really, really good. I love Demi Moore is great. She's young in it. Um, there's something else I was going to say about the character of Jeffrey Tambor, but so basically, though, uh, Demi Moore is a bartender, and this fat, ugly dude comes into a bar, and this is right after the gypsy predicts her future, basically. Says you're going to meet a man tonight, 
uh, he's going to walk in the room and woe you. And then you're going to inherit a lot of money. But there's, you know, the, if you aren't familiar with Tales, Tales from the Crypt, most of the episodes deal with just desserts, characters getting what they deserve. Um, that's essentially, you know, th there's a repercussion for your greedy actions or for your bad actions. They always get what they deserve. So in this case, Demi Moore is a greedy bitch who's money hungry, who marries this man even though she despises him in every way. She just wants to take his money. Um, but she gets it. She gets it big time. So uh, I don't want to spoil too much again, guys. Check this episode out. It's really, really good. Dead right. Jeffrey Tambor. I never had seen this guy before in anything before I watched this episode. And he's just an amazing character actor. He plays it so good. Almost like uh, as good as... Um, Larry Drake did in um, and all through the house the the Christmas episode of Tales from the Crypt that that kind of character match um, or uh, you know what I mean like the psycho the 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 image of Larry Drake as the killer Santa Claus here I'm rambling will forever be ingrained as like the image of a mental patient for me well this guy Jeffrey Tambor will ever be his ugly grotesque image will forever be ingrained as the uh, I don't know where I'm going there. The ugly psycho dude in this episode. I don't know what the fuck I just said. Forget it, okay? Check it out, guys. Have a great weekend. Team Money signing out for Body Bags. I'll talk to you next Friday on Body Bags where horror fucking lies. Peace. Is this thing off yet, motherfuckers? <laughs>